Because there are lots of different different relationships we can use, but we need to know what message we're trying to get across. And then there are other things we can do inside the data viz to help elevate that message for our audience. So one thing we can do is work with our chart title space. When we create these graphs in Excel, it, it pops in this generic thing called chart title, and so we tend to replace it with something equally abbreviated, graduation rates, and then we expect the audience to figure out what we're actually trying to say about graduation rates given this graph, which could be any number of things. But instead, we can actually capitalize on that little bit of text we get and make it into a declared sentence. So we actually tell the audience our point. I like to use the subtitle area as well to just give a little bit of extra information. Like, maybe I'll restate it in numeric terms. Like, the graduation rate was 64% this year, or rose 2% since last year, or whatever. It's just an opportunity to tell the message <coughs> straight up to the audience. So consider that title space carefully and how we can use it to frame the message. Another way we can make this all a little bit easier for our audience is to embed the legend. Typically, you know, the legend will be off to the right there. There'll be a little gray box that says pre-test and a black box that says post-test. And it, it's too far away from the data and our audiences have to go back and forth. What's so much easier for them is if we actually just embed the legend right there, the first instance of that data, we tell them how to interpret the rest of the graph right, right there. So their attention stays on the data itself what we're trying to get them to understand. Another way we can work the text to our advantage is through selective annotation. So in this graph, we have this green bar. Clearly, we want people to pay attention to it. Um, and so we added the text on there as well, just on that one. We have a y-axis, so people can interpret what the rest of those bars are as well. But we add text, we repeat a little bit there um, intentionally to draw attention to it. And then we also have this big speech bubble off here to the side that says total national need 334.8 billion. Why wouldn't we just graph that? Yeah, this. Yeah. It would, it would mess up the y-axis so much. It would, it would make the rest of this quite disproportionate. And source and other would almost disappear into like your x-axis line. Yeah. So when we have parts of a whole, we don't need to graph the whole as well. We can just graph the parts, but if we still need to communicate the whole, we can do it in a place like this. It's just a shape we inserted and typed into. Yeah. 